rise and shine, Monsieur. It is a beautiful day in Paris. Can you hear the morning sun? It is saying get up and stop snoring. M many beautiful women are passing by seeking an audience with you. Alas, seems that there is nothing I can do to wake Monsieur d'Artagnan. Though I do see the three musketeers approaching even now. <clears throat> Pardon me, messieurs. I've, I've long, I've long awaited your, your return. To whom is Monsieur speaking? To the three musketeers, who you said approach even now. Oh, I'm afraid you must have been dreaming. Do not treat my errand with such lightheartedness, Panchet. If you were no lackey, I, I would run you through for your insolence. I will make haste to advance my station for you. Make haste to summon the musketeers. I'm not sure I can wait much longer. Well, perhaps it would be easier in a soft bed. I told you, I have no money. But I've offered you plenty. There's an inn just down the road that I... I cannot accept what I have not earned. But you have earned it. You've snored so loudly out here for the past three nights that you've put an end to all local burglaries and love affairs. All of them. I am D'Artagnan of the Gascons. I do not live by snoring. I sold my horse as I journeyed here rather than accept some innkeeper's pity. Hopefully the musketeers will return before you must sell your trousers. Trousers or no, when they arrive, I shall meet them in the halls of the king where I shall claim my rightful place among them. Well, you will be a legend. The first musketeer to be knighted in his undergarments. One more word of mockery, and you'll be standing guard in yours. Under that same threat, go now and summon the musketeers. I have told you. They are busy making arrangements for the Queen's masquerade. You must understand that with the king away in a croquet tournament, preparations have been difficult. It seems odd to me that a king should spend so much time playing. <laughs> There is not much more to being king than croquet. Ah, right this way, mademoiselle. What's wrong? She was Swiss. The queen has invited all sorts to the ball. They are pouring in from everywhere. It is hard for me, Planchet, that you would allow foreigners into the castle, yet leave a fellow Frenchman to sleep on the streets. At least you have not allowed in a Spaniard. Ah, the Spanish <laughs> Count. Greetings, Monsignor. Say <laughs> la vie, mi amigo. And I do see the Duke of Buckingham approaching even now. And a Spaniard is one thing, but an Englishman, Ponche. Do you have an invitation, Monsieur? Oh, heavens no. The Queen knows me personally. I'm sorry, but I have my orders. Oh, bother. Do me a favor. Tell Her Highness that George Villiers is calling. She'll send for me at once. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> How is it that an Englishman speaks as though he has the right to command the Queen of France? Monsieur misunderstands. Her Highness and I are merely good friends. A Frenchman may make such a claim. And one Englishman, it would seem. For I assure you, I am not French. On guard, Monsieur. <laughs> Let us have this out as gentlemen. I have not come to France for swordplay, but for that sweet romance that calls the lover's heart. <sighs> if you had spoken kindly of Her Majesty, you might have been spared for your rendezvous. What is it the poet has said? When love speaks, the voice of all the gods makes heaven drowsy with the harmony. I am at the present time under the spell of the gods, monsieur, and cannot take offense at your words. You Englishmen, you're all the same, consumed with your poetry and your love. 
Those of us in the service of the crown take no pleasure in such childish pursuits. Of course, monsieur is in the right. A Frenchman can speak of these things without hypocrisy. You dare make a mockery of the queen's most faithful follower? <laughs> Oh, such loyalty. I imagine the queen must desperately await the arrival of so faithful a chauvinist. It's a shame, though, she has never seen fit to mention your name, Monsieur... D'Artagnan of the Gascons. When the queen arrives, I shall be welcomed with open arms. When the queen arrives at the palace gates, I'm sure we shall find out. Messieurs and mademoiselles, the queen approaches, and here her most loyal subject... D'Artagnan of the Gascons! No, 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 what are you doing? She's right there, go on! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My queen! Vanche? Vanche! Vanche! No! Vanche, open the gate this moment! I cannot, it is my duty! Vanche, the. The Duke of Buckingham shall not have the final word in this matter. Now, open the gate, or this hour your mother shall be writing your premature eulogy! <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me, Messrs. Three. To what do I owe the honor of capturing your attention? <laughs> do you hear him? He asks why he has captured our attention? There is no darkness for Papa or Prince, save the night of ignorance. Of course, you are also poets. But I am not ignorant of your giggling. Oh, yes, Porthos does giggle oh, sometimes. The times alone can be the perpetrators of such blasphemies. Twas you, Aramis. Not libertines alone. Women also. Women? Oh, we are flattered by the comparison. But alas, Porthos is not so fair. Ugh. Athos, on the other hand. Well, then, Monsieur Porthos, seeing as how you are alone in your manhood, on guard! Well, I'll duel no women. <laughs> duel? With us? What is the cause? I was offended by your laughing. Forsooth! A grave offense. I am certain you're also offended by our hats. Bah! On guard! Very well, then. I volunteer Porthos. <laughs> and I... <laughs> your silent leader will not face me. He wouldn't duel a man half his age. Ooh. On your mark, monsieur. Oh. I do hope the queen has been informed oh. of these proceedings. In what have we offended you now, Jussac? Not me, the cardinal. Clearly, I'm sure you've been forewarned that dueling is now prohibited. It seems odd to me that the cardinal does not see fit to promulgate his newly inspired decrees until the very hour that the king is away. Where does he get his authority, I wonder? It's the greater power in all of France and the church, of which the cardinal is the head. Not to mention he's King Louis' most trusted advisor. It's so trusted, it would seem, that there's no reason for him to counsel with his majesty on any topic, so long as the king remains unaware of his intentions. How long will this political game continue, Jussac? As long as the cardinal seeks the welfare of France. Well, unfortunately, we do not see eye to eye concerning France's well-being. It is unfortunate. Lay down your arm, and we will do you no harm. <laughs> we have you outnumbered four to three. And how is that when four stand against four? Monsieur would fight alongside the very men he was about to duel. If you would deprive a Gascon of his honor, then you leave me no choice. Come, Porthos, Aramis, Athos. They cannot kill you. That is my right. <laughs> <laughs> we shall therefore fight them, and then turn against one another. A most noble cause, monsieur. <laughs> you and me, right now. No, do that. Yeah. <laughs> At least make it a challenge. <sighs> too easy, too. Yeah, too easy. Can you call yourself and a make gasket? it look good. Oh, I'll show you. <laughs> Come, my friends. This is no sight for royalty. To me. All for one, one and one for all. And now for you, Aramis. Who does that? Monsieur Athos, I've been meaning to speak with you. 
All is prepared. The masquerade will be well attended. Oh, yes, but there is another matter. There still has been no sign of the uh, queen's. We've had little word on that. Who is she? And why does she speak with such scum? Mademoiselle Constance is the handmaid of the queen. Do you still not understand that these men... I declare, she is beautiful. How should I approach her? Has Monsieur forgotten that he condemned the Duke for his romantic aspirations not ten minutes ago? I have no time for the sayings of a lackey. <laughs> <clears throat> Mademoiselle would go so soon. Oh, Monsieur, I'm so full of anxiety of the Queen's affairs, I did not even notice you. I am D'Artagnan of the Gascons. I would speak privily with Milady before her duties take her away. I'm so startled, I do not know what to say. Monsieur is calling upon me from nowhere and also came from nowhere. Calling only from my heart, Madame. Might I have the pleasure of a rendezvous with you? <laughs> We don't even know each other. And yet, I am compelled onward. What is it the poet has said? <gasps> when love speaks, the voice of all the gods. When love speaks. <laughs> the voices of all the gods makes heaven drowsy with the harmony. Even now, they're whispering enchantment to my mind. Oh. <laughs> Monsieur the poet. <laughs> if poetry takes your heart, then yes. I am a fan of poetry. Oh, but I am on an errand for the queen. For how long? An hour? A minute? A passing second would be too long. An eternity? An eternity is far too long to spend alone. Oh, far too long indeed! I should get so terribly bored. Very well. I will most certainly come. It has been a long time since any man took any notice. <laughs> oh, but we shall meet at a time and place of my choosing. Forgive me, monsieur. A young woman these days must be very particular. Uh, you are familiar with the Queen's Gardens? Yes. Oh, wonderful. No. Oh. Oh, mercy. So there's a path on the east side of the castle that leads to the gardens right here, and you must... It's on the west side. Uh, the... Is it on the north? <laughs> it's on the east side, you just follow it. I shall await your coming. <laughs> oh, but when? We must not hurry, we must be proper. It is only proper, let's not be hasty there about that this evening. <laughs> <laughs> Au revoir, Monsieur D'Artagnan. Oh, do not let Monsieur Aramis know where we are meeting. He is most playful. He may interrupt us, and I am too shy. <laughs> Monsieur Aramis and his companions won't be interrupting any sacred rendezvous. Ooh. My sword shall see to it. <laughs> oh, Monsieur Jest! <laughs> oh, adieu, Monsieur D'Artagnan. <laughs> Adieu, musketeers. <laughs> it's the musketeer. <laughs> oh, alas, I was looking forward to ruining many a rendezvous this evening. Oh, well, this D'Artagnan sword says otherwise. <laughs> You're the three musketeers? Oh, soon to be the two musketeers, thanks to Monsieur D'Artagnan. <laughs> and then the one alone? <clears throat> I, I will not refuse a duel I myself have called for. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> Even though you're my idols? Well, if you insist, then name your terms, Monsieur Gascon. We shall fight to the death, as is customary. Or, should I prove victorious, I shall join you as a fourth member. <laughs> the three are special guardians to the queen. The three have never been four. He triumphed alone shall decide whether or not we break tradition. These are unacceptable terms. Wait, my dear Porthos. Be quite sure that there is not much. Very 
well, monsieur. We accept your proposal on condition that we too may offer alternative punishments to death. Very well. What are they? We do not like to spoil surprises. Come, I am the youngest. <laughs> I will fight first. Ooh. Ooh. When you give up, do let me know. It cannot happen. Then truly you are too great a foe for me. I call a Porto. You can't switch places during a during a duel. Then it is imperative that you rectify the situation. Uh, 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 I call that foe. Oh, at least give him a good one or two. There's something I should tell you, monsieur. What when we've had our fill of fighting you, we will join together. What do you mean? I mean you challenged us all at once. We will therefore fight you all at once. I thought the, the, the call, you know, the... All for all one, one and one, one for all. all! Watch your feet. Watch out, walk. <laughs> Works every time. Let it be known that I fought well. You don't think she's going to win. Oh, what's so funny? Have you forgotten that we have drawn up a list of alternative punishments for your losing? Beware. It may be difficult to endure. You have succeeded. Almost. I would have recommended death. <laughs> I shall succeed where others have failed. Read me the punishments. First, you must surrender your sword. Oh, at least allow him one weapon of choice. It would be kinder. I shall succeed without it. Now, if you would, the punishments. <laughs> Firstly, it is written, that the loser shall agree in an awful display of agony and terrible trepidation to regularly clean each musketeer's boots. Every morning for a month. Oh. That's better. Secondly, you must be willing to fluff our musketeer feathers whenever we ask. Often they are in dire need of being fluffed. <laughs> Lastly, and this is most important of all, you must help us retrieve the Queen's diamonds. The Queen's diamonds? To what end? To the end of satisfying Her Majesty's wishes. Now, you cannot refuse. You have lost the duel. I would have rather you'd killed me. <laughs> How so? There is greater honor to be had in feeding pigs than fetching a woman's jewelry. Careful what you speak. She is the Queen. Nonetheless, I'd rather not fetch diamonds for necklaces or rubies for bracelets. Come now, are you telling me all the stories I heard about your many exploits were, were just stories? They probably were. Oh, uh, most stories get mixed up and befuddled, like the time we fought in Buckingham. Oh, it's all lies. We did not fight on that occasion. We were ordered to retreat and... No! We disobeyed orders and invaded the palace. There were only... 50 men? Right. Then there were the 20 bandits of Marseille, yes. all lined up in a row. Though I counted closer to 70 right. myself. Right, few escaped, but only because Athos is soft-hearted. It's true. <laughs> my favorite of all is when we stood just the three against the assembled hordes of Genghis Khan. This, this is we my dream. Tell me, what must I do to join your ranks? You must help us retrieve the Queen's diamonds. I have a thousand such menial tasks come before such tales of glory. I shall undertake them all. Well, who knows, monsieur? A quest for a woman's jewelry may suit you. You seem to have changed your mind about romance and poetry, anyhow. <laughs> no, it's a joke, Dartin. Am I laughing? You need to calm down. Athos, are you quite sure of this? Sure, he held his own against the Cardinal's men, but there's more to being a must- <laughs> Never mind, I'm sure all is well. He's only tried to kill us twice today, after all. The sword does not compensate for small-mindedness. Empathy stirs Athos to acceptance of the intolerant youth. Trust me, as you've always done, my friends, and we will prove whether he is worthy in time. Okay, well, I maybe, maybe you didn't understand the joke. Do you mean to explain it? No, okay, but well, let me tell you. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah?
Alas, I was worried you would not come. Oh, forgive me. I, my duties are very tiresome. You will not need to apologize, not to me. But have I spoken ill? Oh, no, it is not, monsieur. Oh, I apologize for seeming so sad. I, I would very much like to enjoy our time together. I would like nothing more. But how can we when this dark cloud hangs over you? Oh, no, it's going to rain! No? No, no. I, I'm simply referring to the sorrowful weight you seem to bear. A maiden should not be so heavy laden. I tried to cover it up, monsieur, but even with the corset I'm wearing, you can tell! No, 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 no. That is not what I meant. I wish to know the cause of your distress, Constance. Monsieur, you must speak clearly. Otherwise, we shall be in a tizzy, wondering what the thing is you are saying when you say it, because the thing is said as you ought not to say or said. What? <laughs> Don't you see? Oh, but I cannot tell you the cause of my sorrow. But why, Constance? Tell me, has some traitor done you ill? Speak, and I, I shall, I shall amend your sorrows. Oh, oh, I cannot hide it any longer. For so long have I put on a happy face, but this, this evening my tears are watering all the plants in the garden. Oh, but I must have assurances. I must know you shall keep my secrets close to your heart. I shall trade them for one of my own. It must be a very great secret to be told in such close proximity. Yes, but ooh, we are not yet close enough. I'm ready. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Oh, no matter. I see now that you trust me, and so in turn, I ought to trust you. Just to be oh, safe. Oh, we cannot wait. You are assisting the musketeers in their endeavors, yes? Mm -hmm. Will you promise to tell no one, only the musketeers? And speak clearly when you do. <laughs> it is a very great secret. It is a very special secret. And it is a very secret secret. Keep me in suspense no longer. You see, monsieur, the, the queen's diamond necklace is missing. Devil take it. When shall I be free of this diamond necklace? I have not finished. You see, I've been feeling very Constance, good. please don't. I have heard enough for one day about a woman's trinkets. Oh, but monsieur, please. The musketeers are already looking for them. <sighs> it can't be long now. You mean they will recover them soon? <laughs> yes, when they know their location, they'll let me know. I'm to go with them. Oh, <laughs> oh monsieur, suddenly the worries of my heart are washed away. <laughs> all, all this relief over something so trivial. What is it about these diamonds that would cause you and the musketeers to think of nothing else? Oh, well, we are very loyal to Her Highness. Is Monsieur upset? I wanted this to be a pleasant rendezvous. <laughs> but all the talk of these diamonds has made me miserable. Oh, big pardon. I did not know they made you so. <laughs> it is ironic that now I am happy and you are sad. Oh. <laughs> You're a strange mix. Being with you makes me both happy and distraught. Oh, I have heard tell that men can only feel so contradicted in the presence of someone they long to be with. Uh, no, monsieur has called me beautiful. Does he think anything else of me? <laughs> Like what? Well, earlier when Monsieur was quoting his poetry. Poetry? Poetry! <laughs> <laughs> poetry! Oh, I've never quoted poetry a day in my life. <laughs> Such things are beneath the honor of a Gaskin. Oh, oh poetry. Oh. That's odd. I could have sworn. Well, no matter. I'm fairly certain Monsieur hinted he had feelings. Feelings? I, D'Artagnan, We'll be the fourth musketeer. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't have time for such things as feelings. Oh. This evening was a mistake. Uh, 
Uh, perhaps another time when Monsieur feels better. No, no. I've come to the senses that you and your wild seduced. We shall not meet again. Oh, but Monsieur. Be gone! <laughs> Women are, as they always have been, barred from me. <laughs> oh, I'm miserable again! <laughs> Always threads and needles, mm -hmm. ribbons, hairbrushes, brooches. It is not right that I should be with you, Constance. It is a crime for me to wish for pleasure when there are higher things to seek. It is wrong. Constance, don't you see that? that that's why. Verily, Constance. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> if it is a crime I'm, I have committed, I'm happy to have committed it with you, monsieur. <laughs> oh, love, that, that fickle mistress, she shall be gone tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but who knows if tomorrow will come. Yes. At last I see clearly, Constance, though we've known each other but a short time. I, oh. I, I am compelled onward. Constance. I have a note for Monsieur D'Artagnan. Perhaps it can wait. <laughs> Though technically a man bound to deliver it at once, those were the orders. But under the circumstances, I'm sure they'll understand. But the message is about the queen. Yes, 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 please, <laughs> wait. When should I be free of this grievous cross that I bear? Is it the musketeers? Have they found the diamond? They believe they shall appear at the Queen's Ball. They also say that now I must dance. What is it now, Constance? You're anxious again. I, I'm just, I'm very loyal to your highness, that's all. No, no, no. You're very anxious. Uh, well, I tried to tell you before, but... Oh, it is my fault the diamonds are missing. Your fault? How could it be your fault? I received a very frightening letter, and now the musketeers are afraid that the diamonds will be used to commit a terrible crime. They've told me nothing of this. Oh. Constance, wait. I am a terrible handmaid. I have deceived everyone, even the queen. Adieu. you, Constance? Oh. Sound serious. <laughs> For the sake of my trousers, I hope you can see that I was only doing my job. I'm not interested in your apologies, Ponche. I, I was wondering, though, how yours managed to stay up with all this up and down motion. <laughs> <laughs> he was wearing a very tight belt. <laughs> Do you get it? Are you done? <laughs> Do not let me see you again, Planchet. You will regret it. I would not be surprised, seeing as I've regretted yeah, every meeting with you so far. <laughs> 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 Lady de Winter, uh, your report? Constance delivered the diamonds, but it took time. Blackmail is a delicate art. 
Uh, there are no trails leading back to you. <laughs> Constance does not even know my face. Nonetheless, it is wisdom that we tie off all loose ends. We shall have to arrange for her to be dealt with permanently. How shall I do it? I trust you need no advice from a religious man. Very well. Now, the rest of our plan is still moving forward. The Duke arrived two days ago, Your Eminence. The ball should give you ample time for the diamonds to appear in the Duke's pocket. Oui. You are certain that once they are discovered in the Duke's possession that the King will be most upset. There is nothing more certain. These diamonds are among the rarest in the world. And as fate would have it, they're the Queen's personal favorite. Should the king be discovered with them, their unscrupulous behavior together shall at last come to light. And should you be the one to discover this, you will be back in the king's good graces. Um, the king is nothing more than a child at heart. His first choice of personal advisors treats on the whim of his fancy and whether they support his aspirations in croquet. It is a wonder that such a child has kept France from crumbling for so long. There is much civil unrest. The providence of France has nothing to do with King Louis. Unlike his father, he's become nothing more than a figurehead. The king is a puppet. It is unfortunate that you are not the one holding the strings at the present time. No wonder your feelings for the musketeers are anything but pleasant. All that is about to change, provided you fulfill your role at the queen's masquerade. Speaking of the musketeers, I trust their presence will not hinder you accomplishing the task at hand. Why should it? I'm not so concerned with the two subservient musketeers as I am with their leader. You have an interesting history with Athos, from what I recall. We've had dealings in the past. Fortunately, this is a masquerade. Athos will never see my face. Make doubly sure of it. Don't misunderstand me. You are a woman of the fleur-de-lis. I trust your particular talents implicitly, but... The consequences will be dire if, by some comedy of errors, he discovers you. The only man who'll have the pleasure of dancing with me will be the Duke of Buckingham. <sighs> what is it? It would appear, Your Eminence, that the Musketeers have been joined by a fourth member. His name? D'Artagnan of the Gascons, a most formidable foe. And? Is a man unequivocally bound to his honor. And he's going courting the, king, the queen's handmaiden. Has she told him anything? Not yet, but if she falls for him, she will. Well, it seems we shall have to be rid of Madame Bonancieux sooner than I imagined. Given these circumstances, this task now falls to you, Jussac. Am I to be overlooked in the very hour you need me most? Yeah, not overlooked. Only the assassination of Constance has become all the more urgent. It must happen tomorrow night. I would rather you focus in on the Duke while Jussac deals with the handmaid. What is my purpose, then, if others are to do my work for me? Once I have finished with the diamonds, I will see to Constance. You certain you can handle both situations? <laughs> I am a woman of the fleur de lis, am I not? Tomorrow night, the Queen will be sure to love her. And a handmaid. Mm. A toast to tomorrow night, then. And the woman of the fleur de lis. Welcome back to France, my lady.
Monsieur Hare. So, the woman who will have the diamonds, remind me, she'll be wearing a peacock mask? So it would seem. How do we know this? A letter? There's no name on this. How do we know this is real? What kind of a Frenchman are you? This is the way things are done in Paris. The more secretive the letter, the more likely the writer is being honest. It's not how the Frenchman stands face to face with you, Bishop, if you were. Should I be worried, seeing as how we're face to face, Aramis? Shh! <laughs> Monsieur Flamingo. This says that the diamonds are to be placed on the Duke of Buckingham. What exactly is going on here? I have my suspicions, but for now it is imperative that our mysterious thief not be allowed to dance with the Duke. Mademoiselle Peacock. D'Artagnan, you will not be recognized as one of us. Retrieve the pouch she carries. Me? You wish to be a musketeer, Monsieur Hare? Prove your worth. <clears throat> dance partners. Mademoiselle. Oh. I must insist that you dance with me. Uh, uh, Mr. Start with me, but I'm to dance with the Duke. Do I not get first choice as a Frenchman? Very well, Monsieur is most persuasive. <laughs> Monsieur Gascon, when last we spoke, you seemed determined to seize my death. This is a surprising turn of events. Rest assured, after a surprising turn of events, nothing has changed. You've thrown off the dance. I've thrown off the dance. I wish I'd never heard of these diamonds. Beware, you were spotted in your acquisition. The wolf desires the hair. Ah, oh, Monsieur Wallace. Truly, it is a pleasure, Monsieur Hare. Truly, you must get to use design to strip me of all honor. It is for your safety, Monsieur Hare. A wolf cannot devour a walrus. Quickly, to the tiger. Is it done? Yes, it is done, Monsieur Tiger. Now, if that will be all, you may eat me. Oh, why such unpleasant dreams? Because if you do not eat this hair, I shall never remove this mask for shame. <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm sorry, Monsieur Wolf, but I've had enough. You're mistaken, Monsieur Hare. I have no desire to dance. The Cardinal, however, would like a word. Well, well. What have we here? Carrying off your prey in the middle of the Grand Ballroom? Points for subtlety, Monsieur Wolf. You may now tell the Cardinal that we are well aware of his ambitions with the diamonds. I am near This man is in possession of a royal heirloom. I am merely assisting you in your duties. Hands off, Jussac. 
Yes, it is I, D'Artagnan. Now, you will tell us what the Cardinal wants with the diamonds. You mean the Musketeers have not told you. That makes sense, considering a man bound by his honor. But our most royal highness, the Queen, has fallen from her nobility. The Duke has shamed her, and they have had an affair. They would have been apprehended in their wrongdoing this very evening, if not for your most noble efforts. And I'm sure the Cardinal, ever seeking the favor of His Majesty, has nothing to do with your little charade here tonight. What does it matter? If you hide the affair, you lie to the King. The Musketeers will tell the King of the affair, for they are honorable men. I'm afraid you are mistaken on where their loyalties lie. They will return the diamonds, but in secret. And the King will never learn of these events. Heed my words, Jussac. Where I come from, when a man lies, there are severe punishments. Then ask them what they will do. Tell him he's wrong. You would prove yourselves disloyal to the king? I have said nothing of disloyalty. If the king learns of the affair, he will be most angry. I would show mercy to the queen, for her punishment would be severe. That is because the king is a just man. No truly just man was ever fully devoid of mercy, my friend. And none ever let an adulteress walk free. Well, then I guess I've been reading from the wrong book all these years. But we cannot let you go, D'Artagnan. I will not rest until the king learns of the affair. Bravo, monsieur. And if I must, I'll tear the necklace in two and hang half from the tallest spire of the cardinal's cathedral. That way, all may know of his involvement in these dealings. Madames and messieurs, I've made a most remarkable discovery. It would appear that these men here are none other than the Queen's Musketeers. I'm sure they have no greater desire than to toast to Her Majesty. Come now, Musketeers, Planchet, lead do us. Not let him out of your sight. To the Queen! To the Queen! Lady? Eris, where did D'Artagnan go? Ah, those you worry too much. I'm sure D'Artagnan... He's far too clever. He wouldn't worry about something. He should have been wearing the mask of the jackal, not the hair. I may be one step ahead of him. Come, my friends. It looks like we have another interrogation. Follow when you can. To the garden, I Mademoiselle, uh, pardon me, Mademoiselle, I couldn't help but notice... I'm sorry, Monsieur, I'm late for meeting someone. Have we met before? For I suddenly feel certain that we have. I'm sorry, Monsieur, I'm afraid you are mistaken. Cannot be. Would Mademoiselle do me the honor of removing her mask? <laughs> it is not proper at a masquerade. And No mask could hide your mannerisms from me. I am sorry, monsieur, I do not know the woman of whom you speak. Would you prove me wrong, then? <laughs> My word should be enough. Words alone cannot satisfy. Would you please prove, as you say, that I am in error? I have no obligation to you, monsieur. Nor none to the mark of the fleur-de-lis you bear on your left shoulder? <sighs> Bonjour, Atta. Milady. It has been a long time. You wish to speak to me, what is it? Seven years since you were sentenced, yet. How are you standing here before me? I do not reveal my secrets easily, you know this. I know this very well. If that is all, Atta, we'll have to speak another time. Now that I know you're alive, I can do nothing but beg your forgiveness for my wrongdoings. Why, so you did what you believed was right. I was a young d'Artagnan. I'm alive and well. You have not hindered my work. But other things I have hindered, for which I have suffered much grief. I cannot relieve your pain, Atta. Not now, nor perhaps ever. Was it you who led us here tonight? To answer that would not be wise for me to say. Now that you know I am alive, will you let me go? Or will you arrest me? I will do nothing. Neither one nor the other. Neither one nor the other. You are greater than ever you were, it would seem. Adieu, Atta. Adieu, my lady. 
Porthos, calm yourself. Athos has everything under control. He's enchanted by the charms of the ethereal specimen. He cannot act for himself. The ethereal specimen, Athos. Athos? Who was that woman, though? Someone. Someone I thought I would never see again. Ah, the wench escaped. The queen's enemies elude even we. Are you so certain of her motives, Porthos? She is marked with the sign of the fleur de lis, is she not? She is a traitor to the throne. Not all is as it seems with Milady. This Milady, you, you courted her, did you not? <laughs> oh, I knew it. It has been many years since Milady and I were lovers, but she has returned at a time when I am most unprepared. Athos, I pity the bitter remembrances of the past, but we cannot allow emotion to cloud judgment. Sometimes I think you are as stubborn as that D'Artagnan. Ah! Spare no room for that cunning mistress grief, lest thy vows to queen and kingdom shall bind a marriage. Spare brain. me of your poetry. Athos has not forgotten his own. Roxane! <laughs> 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 Just give me a second. Breathe. I'm running alarm really out of breath. Okay. Roxane. <laughs> <Right. laughs> <laughs> 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 you need a second. One second. Come on. Ooh, okay, so I fall. I followed Monsieur d'Artagnan as you commanded, yes. and I found him with the company of the Cardinal's guards in close pursuit. Oh, no. <gasps> Come, my friends, we must leave this debate for another time. But now it seems the wolves may indeed eat the hare. Yes. All for one. Oh. Why are we running? At least you have not killed me before I drew my sword. The Cardinals taught you some protocols, you suck. More than the musketeers would, surely. You know they're no longer my tutors. And the Cardinal would respect you for deserting them. Come, his ranks need filling. I side no more with the Cardinal than I do with the musketeers. Then you've given me more than enough trouble. Fetch the diamonds. Oh, scared of an honest fight, are we? Is this the best you can do, Jussac? Come now, send more. Oh, three. I'll have you know I once fought all three musketeers. <laughs> Scared, are we? Shaking in your boots. Send all of them, Jussac. Go. <laughs> oh, and even still, even still, we, we cower and quake. I must even, be even more I... intimidating than who am swift of soul. Do tremble! <laughs> Musketeers. Blanchet is also here! No! <laughs> Come, Jussac. You see we take care of our companion. Just hand over the diamonds, there'll be no more trouble. Oh, I was looking forward to swatting a few of the Cardinal's flies. Fools! What you do not realize is I'm the only one who knows where the diamonds are. M Monsieur does not have them with him. You underestimate the cunning of a Gascon, Jussac. When I knew you were following me, I hid them where no one can find them. In other words, Monsieur d'Artagnan is now the grand prize of our fight. The only question, how to keep him here while we duel. Planchet, the rope. <laughs> I'll have no, this. no! Though you tie me up, I shall stand in defiance. I shall stand firm in my throat. Stand over there. No! <laughs> and now, my fellow Frenchmen, we fight for the diamonds and for the honor of the queen. Uh, I the, you know, it would be a good time to... All for one! And one for all! Treacherous <laughs> villain! You ought to learn from the teachings of my father! Or perhaps you can learn straight from the sword of a Gaskin! No! No! Don't tell you get out of here! Give up all you have the chance! Hold still! What not is this? I said you were the grand prize! That's fun. Now, Dartan, will you come with us? The queen waits our report. I fear no threat. 
There was no threat. We figured since you went through all the trouble of helping us re to retrieve the Queen's diamonds, you might like to see them return. What do you mean? Planchet, you have them still? This is my finest work. Ugh. To follow such a wary man without a trace of my presence <laughs> revealed. Stop struggling and I will let you out. Better not. Oh, he has suffered enough. <laughs> oh, Gondrell, not enough. I will side with Aramis. <laughs> and justice will be fulfilled if need be, Porthos. <sighs> Uncard, traitors three! I told you Are not you to untie kidding? him! Now. D'Artagnan, put down the sword and let's talk about this. There will be no talking, Aramis, unless one of us is performing your eulogy. Yeah. Now, Planchet! Give me the diamonds. It cannot happen. Then, Athos, I charge you with grand treason. For the king! Works. <laughs> <laughs> well, Porthos, are you satisfied? More than ever! Unfortunately, Athos, <laughs> the cardinal is not. Constant. Oh. My lady, let us reason together. You know my reasoning. I'll spare Constance for the diamonds. These men, they will not make the trade. They are bound to Her Majesty by some force I do not understand. What does Athos say? Planchet. You think so lowly of Les Mousquetaires, Monsieur? Perhaps you misjudge them. Beware. I do not misjudge you. I trust you do not. The diamonds. Don't do it. Farewell, monsieur. May we meet again under happier circumstances. <laughs> it was wise of you not to marry that woman. It was foolish not to see her locked away. You're wrong, my friends. I did both. What? But let us see how Constance oh. is faring. I did both. I am all right. I'm more concerned for the queen. The diamonds, they're gone again. I doubt whether the cardinal will risk using the diamonds again. He is now, if I'm not mistaken, attempting to cover his trail. Constance, uh, are you all right? I'm, I'm all right. I'm just feeling a little dizzy, that's all. Tis with a fainting spell. Come, I, I, I will see you home. D'Artagnan, I cannot. I'm having trouble breathing. Brother, Cerebus, oh. a physician. I knew I was to be captured. Milady offered me a drink of water at the ball. I, I was thirsty after, after dancing D'Artagnan. I believe she must have... It's all right. Have... It's all right. We will find a cure. <sighs> Monsieur Athos, I'm sorry. I was the one who, who stole the diamonds. I was, I was certain to bury a friend. All is forgiven, my friend. Uh, uh, D'Artagnan... <sighs> I was a terrible rendezvous partner. I'm afraid I made you very unhappy. It, it, it wasn't your fault. Mm. What is taking Aramis and Porthos so long? Uh, D'Artagnan, I must know. Do you love me? I'm afraid after all that has happened, you may have changed your mind. Do not speak like this, Constance. Know this. I, D'Artagnan, love you. And I will never be unfaithful. It is good. It is. Constance? The court physician was out, but we brought him a Oh. May we help lift her, my friend? That look in your eye worries me. This road you seek, it is a perilous one. I shall take it nonetheless, Athos. I trust you three worthy gentlemen to see to Constance. Await my return for her burial. You shall be avenged, Constance. My friend, do not do this. We will bring Milady to justice. Aramis, Milady is escaping even as we speak. Unless you wish to die, I would step aside. Should we not go after him? Athos, what do we do? What can I do? You were right, Porthos. I have misjudged my lady. D'Artagnan, Constance, forgive me. My lady, what are you playing at? <laughs> Thank you.
Constance, it has been 36 hours, but I have neither slept nor ate. Such is my hatred for Milady. And yet, and yet, despite Agaskin's valiance, Milady has eluded me. I am not worthy to oversee your burial. This will advise you in all the necessary materials, mademoiselle. Please go quickly. <laughs> Tis a great irony that the murderer should perform the embalming. Mr. D'Artagnan. I provide you an opportunity to defend yourself ere hell receives your soul. Hmm, monsieur does not understand. On guard. Where is Mademoiselle Planchet? I have repaid old debts. This day I shall repay another. On guard! <laughs> Tell me, by what witchcraft did you seduce Planchet? It was no witchcraft, monsieur. Silence! You may plead your case before the tribunal of heaven! Musketeers, if you be gentlemen, come quickly! The musketeers come at your bidding. It cannot be. D'Artagnan, let me explain. No doubt your cunning plan was laid against me from the very beginning. Milady may continue with the anointing. Athos, I need rosemary and oil, other things too, but Planchet is indisposed. I will get the oil. Porthos, the rosemary. And I will fight. Come, D'Artagnan. Aramis, the softest of the musketeers. How is it that even you've seen fit to betray me? All may not be as it seems, friend. You would do well to remember mercy. I'll also need lavender. I will fetch the lavender. Come, Porthos, finish this miserable duel. <laughs> uh, now I'm faced by he whose justice resembled even that of a Gaskins. <laughs> Tell me, Porthos. How have you fallen from your greatness? I imagine that if I resemble a Gaskin so well, is it because I have fallen, and that it is just? Alas, of all, I need salts. Ah, this is a duel I cannot to finish. I will fetch the salts. Come, Athos. Oh, and now the grand leader would deign to face me. Your wisdom has failed you, and my sword shall make amends. Now is the time when three will disarm one. Traitors. Cowards! My sword is long enough to skewer three. Come, justice shall be served. Constance. Constance. Justice has been served completely and wholeheartedly. What is going on? Why are you, why are you hitting, why are you hitting D'Artagnan? Oh, what is Milady doing here? It is a long Alas, story. Alas, much has happened, but let us awaken D'Artagnan before we explain. Use the salts. We have to. Has the veil that parted us been moved at last? You are awake, if that is what you mean. Awake, and in your arms, happiness swells in my heart. Oh, Constance, I fought for the body you left behind, but I have failed you. I am not dead, monsieur. At least I don't think I am. I always thought I would be a martyr. <laughs> But you died in my arms, and now my soul has fled from my greatest enemies. What enemies is Monsieur speaking of? Oh, Constance, the musketeers. They have fallen from their grace, and may now serve that witch, milady. I fear they shall never recover. I suppose now that we are spirits, the musketeers won't be able to hear us? Our voices, echoing amongst the cherubim, shall not reach the ears of those vilest of sinners. Nor, I suppose, will they be able to see us. No, Constance. Well, that one thing. If D'Artagnan be in paradise, I shall beg the devil for room and board. <laughs> oh. Oh. I thought I was in heaven. It's okay. <laughs> oh, alas, monsieur. You found a very miserable hell with three tormentors and their lackey. <laughs> D'Artagnan, 
You were merely struck on the head by Mademoiselle Planchet. Planchet, you are the worst kind of lackey. Stop it. Nonetheless, you are correct. We are in hell, for the devil is nigh upon us. But what would you seek he revenge, D'Artagnan? Constance lives. Ta-da! It cannot be. Constance still lives, for the poison that was administered to her was not deadly. It allows one to pass for dead, yet in time your body will awake. But, but why? The Cardinal's a careful man. He desired that Constance should be silenced, even if there were only the slightest chance that she might pose a threat. But, but you attempted to reveal the affair at the ball. It was I who in secret made the musketeers aware of that plot. By grace, you were able to stop it. As you'll no doubt conclude, my true loyalties do not lie with the Cardinal, but with the British Parliament. They've charged me with discovering the Cardinal's intentions and bringing them to light. Milady, I... I... No, you're not the first man who's tried to kill me, Mr. Artani, nor will you be the last. It is the nature of my profession. However, seeing that you at least had no idea of my true loyalties, I will offer forgiveness, <laughs> if it will relieve your distress. Keep it from me. I'm not worthy of it. How is it that I have failed where Gaskin should be most adept? How is it that others' judgment remains untainted? You will I walk forward in darkness? By some means, I must earn my redemption. You may have your chance sooner than you believe. The Cardinal's ambitions for political power have not been stayed, despite our best efforts. Lay it on me. But first, Athos, oh. I bequeath to you my rapier, the symbol of my manhood and my pride. D'Artagnan. D'Artagnan. I shall take on the mantle of a priest or a deacon. <laughs> and I shall swear henceforth to never again take up arms. Soon the cardinal will attempt an assassination. And if he succeeds, it is almost certain that France and England will go to war. <laughs> Athos, my sword. <laughs> And what of your convictions? My convictions? <laughs> <laughs> the old D'Artagnan is dead in the light of this newfound glory. Those, those vows of peaceable living no longer apply. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, my lady, <sighs> what soul do you send me forth to save? Speak and it shall be done. It is none other than the Duke of Buckingham who will require our assistance to escape the Cardinal's anger. Yes, yes, and this I shall not fail. I shall be swiftness. The Duke. The Duke of Buckingham, monsieur. You're sure? <laughs> oui, monsieur. <laughs> Most certain. This, this was to be a Gaskin's redemption, but now it is sullied by the redemption, the salvation even. Of the immoral. Whatever his folly, Monsieur d'Artagnan, the Duke has willingly offered to help me overthrow, and assist in overthrowing, the Cardinal. You've spoken to him. <laughs> in two days, a rendezvous between the Queen and the Duke will take place, but it is a ploy to get the Cardinal to reveal his hand. I wish I'd never heard of the ploy, these plans, the, the diamonds, or, or the musketeers, even. Speaking of the diamonds. The Cardinal has tasked me with disposing of them. But I'm certain the Queen would wish to have them safely returned <laughs> when all is over. Yes. <laughs> you have them still! Monsieur d'Artagnan, please return them to me. You do not understand. These diamonds, they offer a proper salvation for France. D'Artagnan, it is you who do not understand the situation. If the affair is revealed, it'll have the same consequences as the assassination. The king is not so unwise that he would that he would begin a war over a woman's betrayal. You are correct. The king is much too simple-minded for such extreme measures. It is his passions, not his wisdom, that guides him. The cardinal sees fit to take advantage of this and push the king over the edge. It is not the king's passions that have endangered France. It is the queen's. How dare you? You do not even know his majesty. You cannot judge the thing's situation. Think of what almost happened because you thought you knew. I am a Gaskin. I have the gift of judgment. The gift of judgment? You almost killed Milady, not five. I'll hear nothing more of Milady. She's alive and well. She? This is madness. Return the diamonds or you have spoken your last, Gaskin. Enough! The king will return in three days. That gives you three days to reconsider, Monsieur Gascon. 
In the meantime, we must remember, it'll take our combined efforts to rescue the Duke. We will send for you before the rendezvous. This plan fails and D'Artagnan escapes. It will be upon your head. He has given his word that he will return. He will not go against it. Trusting the honor of the queen to the words of a desperate D'Artagnan is the epitome of foolishness. You ought not to give pity to a man merely because he is the mirror of your youth. And if we challenge D'Artagnan for the diamonds, he will fight to the death. Is that what you want? If D'Artagnan must fall for the sake of France, so be it. Yes, your father's, please. He will not hurt D'Artagnan, please. <laughs> Sweet is the song of the dove in the glade, sweeter than she, the innocent maid. <laughs> Forgive my anger, Athos. You have ever led the musketeers to victory. If ought to be forgiven, my friend, I cannot see it. Come, I value your companionship more than ever. Until the rendezvous, my friends. And does my decision considering D'Artagnan trouble Milady as well? Porthos is right. We cannot make a mistake because you're not willing to forgive yourself for past actions. You have become a wise judge, Atta. What does your wisdom tell you now? It tells me that D'Artagnan must join us. Ugh. Milady must put the past behind her and trust me. How did you escape on that day? What day? The day I discovered you were working for the British. The day I sentenced you to the king's dungeon. Recall, Atta, how Constance escaped the cardinal. When I was taken for dead, a British compatriot anointed and woke me. And I would not see, even as you begged me for mercy. I'm so fool for not trusting you with the full truth from the beginning. You had little reason to hear me. It would have made little difference. I was past listening. You did what was right according to your laws. But was there not some greater law I could have heeded? Instead, I brand you a traitor and lose your love? You are a youth no longer. You have grown. And the symbol of the fleur-de-lis has grown more present in my mind. I knew this, Atta, that it was by the mark of the fleur-de-lis that the Cardinal trusted me. It has made my work against him possible. And has it made other things possible? Now is not the time, Atta. My lady, there may not be another time. Forgive me, but I must know of your feelings. I must know if a possibility between us still exists. Once I have finished my work against the Cardinal, I will return to England. I must make my report. And then will Milady return to France? I do not know. For now, we must focus on the mission. What will happen afterwards, I cannot say. <laughs> I can see I'm not the only one that D'Artagnan has irked. When last you retreated to the loom... I had called off my wedding. Yes. <sighs> My bride-to-be was lovely. Yes. Ooh, but that mother-in-law. C'est la vie, I suppose. Anyway, sewing calms my anxiety. <laughs> I didn't think it possible for D'Artagnan to hate us any more, but if he catches you at your craft... Oh, he'll come to thank me soon enough. I struck upon a brilliant idea last night. Tell me what you think. After ten, it was just <laughs> a more fitting revenge that never was contrived. Oh, I thought. Uh, two, Aramis. That one wasn't quite right. I'm making another. <laughs> Master, one final word before the rendezvous. Where is Monsieur d'Artagnan? Where indeed? Uh. Perfect. Mm. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Uh, the rendezvous will begin at sunset. I wish to be certain. What are you doing? You said you wanted to be helpful. I wish to be certain all is prepared. Aramis! <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> Milady, all is prepared, or will be very shortly. I presume the queen will be secure while you musketeers are away from her. Is the queen in danger? Should the Duke's assassination be stopped, which it must be, then the Cardinal will likely seek another alternative. In this case, the Queen will be the only alternative. Oh, no, I've already caused so many problems with the diamonds. There must be something I can the do. The Queen is safe. She's already been taken to a secure location. Okay. And Monsieur Aramis is to be 
Or that is, he was to be the Queen's doppelganger this evening. <laughs> what is it? I never thought. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, but I have just struck up on an idea. I will be able to help the queen. Uh, Constance, I know you would give your all for her highness, but this situation is delicate. You must stick to the plan. No, what is the plan? For you to remain here in safety while we attend to the rendezvous. I see you have everything taken care of here. You have my thanks, Monsieur d'Artagnan. It seems I was wrong about you. <laughs> Indeed, it seems we were all wrong about Monsieur d'Artagnan. You, milady, musketeers. Mistress mm -hmm. Villiers, so we play, your assistance is paramount to our success this evening. Yes. Indeed. Uh, is everything ready? Oui. It will not do for us to be seen together. Therefore, I will now escort Mr. Villiers to the Queen's Gardens. Musketeers, you must follow afterward with the queen. Within the hour, I will watch from the western entrance of the garden. You must guard the east. When the assassin presents himself, then we'll catch him red-handed, and the cardinal will be overthrown, if all goes according to plan. Au revoir, and good luck. <laughs> Seems my guesstimates were not far off. Guesstimates? What exactly is going on? <laughs> An awesome blood device concocted to outwit the Cardinal and his allies. No. No, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. no. 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 Oh, yeah. Ah. Get the ah. oh, oh. Ah. No. Oh. Ah. It like you've never seen a corset before. What is a corset? <laughs> How about some perfume? Oh, oh yes, <laughs> much perfume. <laughs> Tighter, it needs to be oh, tighter. Hey, oh, 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 We meet at last, Your Highness. <coughs> Were you... <coughs> Were you followed? <laughs> Are you worried that I was? One can never be too careful. The Cardinal is out for blood. There will be no shedding of blood tonight. Let us only shed tears of joy at our reunion. Yes, I... I forgive you more than anything a poet. Yes, what was it that the poet has said? When love speaks, the voice of all the gods... Makes heaven drowsy with the harmony. Yes, that one is a favorite of yours. I can hear them even now. The melodious voices fill my ears. Can you hear them? What are you doing? <laughs> For me this one kiss to quench my thirst. Uh, let us drink some wine! It will not suffice! No! What are you doing? No! <sighs> You suck. The fact that you know my, my name fills my heart with joy. Forgive my deceitful attire, but I've loved and watched you from far longer than most men could endure. I've listened to you speak for longer than most men could endure. D'Artagnan, <laughs> what are you doing here? I was meant to be saving the Duke, but it would seem I'm much too late for that. Musketeers! <laughs> oh. Martin, why am I not surprised? Where's the Duke, Jussac? He stands before you. If France and England go to war, you will be held as an accomplice. Where is he? We do not have time for an interrogation. You cannot leave. It is my duty to keep the Queen and her guard busy. This won't take long at all. <laughs> there are more what? flies this time. Oh, they are not flies, Porthos. They are roaches. On guard! <laughs> What is the plan? How will we find the Duke? <laughs> is there a plan to be had? The Cardinal, it seems, was one step ahead of us. The only question is how. 
However he managed it, the Duke is likely dead or in prison, which is a fitting end for such a... Such a... D'Artagnan, what's going on? Uh, it is the court that I'm wearing. It is much too tight. You must loosen it, Aramis. My hands are a little busy uh, at the moment, friend. Speaking of corsets, where is my lady? She has failed to appear. Athos, do you think that she has... No, my lady has never betrayed a cause in her whole, whole life. In the midst of passion, days is blind the lover's heart and the lover's mind. For those... Sarah, your poetry, your, your, your poetry. Athos, it is not Milady who betrayed us, or at least not Milady alone. Where is the queen? She's safe. Only we musketeers know of her location. I believe she may be in great danger. There is a hidden room on the eastern wall of the western chapel. We will take care of the cardinal's guards. First, Athos. No, not Athos. Aramis! Aramis! Oh. Loosen this corset. Fine, there! Come! Thank and you. the sergeant handle these traitors. To me! All for one! one. And one, one for all! all. Le gas! Monsieur Gascon! <laughs> I was right to think you a traitor. I was wrong to think you so honorable. <laughs> it's a shame I missed you in the gardens. <laughs> Tell me, was Dussac pleasantly surprised? Allow me to show you just how pleasantly surprised he was. <sighs> I really don't have time for this. For all I know, the musketeers will be along at any moment, and it just wouldn't do for me to be caught dueling the Queen of France. <laughs> Turn around! Or I will run you through. Say, Lavi, one last thing before we begin. How is it that you, of all people, managed to discover my betrayal? You trained Jussac too well. He quoted you and your, your poetry. Alas, I wished it to be a convincing performance. You have a very focused memory, Monsieur Gascon. You seem to recollect with startling accuracy everything about everyone you despise. Let us see if your sword is as keen as your intellect. My turn to ask the question. How did you know that Her Majesty would be here today? I do not guess. Here I was, gaining an appreciation of that brilliant mind. You've been here before, on a rendezvous with Her Highness. This chamber was meant only known to the Queen and her musketeers. A safety precaution for days like these. Unfortunately, Her Highness trusted me a little too well. I suppose you've been working for the Cardinal all along. I work for no man. I have, however, been for quite some time what one might call an opportunist. Then, the affair with the Queen, it wasn't an elaborate ploy by the Cardinal. Oh, contrary, the, the affair was merely an opportunity, a chance. I really had no idea the Cardinal meant to take advantage of my less than Christian behavior. That is, not until Milady approached you asking for help with the rendezvous. Indeed, believe it or not, I really was more than willing to offer my services. You see, I love the Queen desperately. Then what happened? What changed? Why, I learned the Cardinal was attempting to start a war with England, of course. Then... Then you realized just how much you loved the Queen. The spoils of war are naturally very appealing to one of my station. I entered the Cardinal's confidence immediately after speaking with Milady. Life is full of opportunities, Monsieur Gascon, if you have the presence of mind to take them. Should I take advantage of the opportunity presented to me? If you have the presence of mind. Remember me fondly, monsieur, for, if I judge correctly, we are more alike than an Englishman and a Frenchman would care to admit. I'm nothing like you. Are you not? Are you not willing to give everything to achieve your goals? Are you not willing to sacrifice the very ones you love for honor? We might have done well together. I would advise restraint, Monsieur Gascon. Constance, it seems the little handmaid, in an act of true devotion, 
assume the role of doubling for her highness to ensure her safety, but I take it that you are no stranger to that impulse yourself? I'm confused. Did Aramis make two dresses? Well, <laughs> you can imagine the confusion when the Duke and I heard that the Queen was in fact in her personal chambers when all along we were certain she was in this very room. You have described your own confusion, Cardinal, and now you have let a simple handmaid draw you out into the open. <laughs> C'est la vie, the French are ever reckless. Now, you are aware that the figure you hold before you is not in fact the Queen. We am I the only one who was fooled? Her Highness, no doubt, is here and has been listening to this entire conversation. If she wishes for her two most loyal subjects to be spared, she will reveal herself now. No, Your Highness, go back! Lock the door! Now, the only question that remains is, shall only one queen be assassinated this evening, or shall we make it three? Two, I think. It would be well to keep one hostage alive should things go awry. Very well, I suppose it is. Ladies first, either way. No! No! D'Artagnan! Bless this cursed woman's corset! Run, Your Highness! Go! Buckingham, if you'll take care of the imposters, I will see to her highness. With pleasure. Is Is something wrong? Everything is fine. I presume you've taken care of the musketeers. All those blackguards won't be bothering us anymore. We even managed to snag their frilly hats. And the ridiculous uniform! We even managed to take their swords. Just to embellish the list. Well, what now, Cardinal? We have the Duke, if you have the Queen. I will hold on to her highness. I think she'll kill the Duke if you wish. Ah! Ah! Right, your highness! Not so no! fast! No! One moment, Madame Bonsio, die! Please! 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 my friends. The chess game is not over. We probably also should have mentioned that we brought along the musketeer's trusty lackey and her arsenal. Cooking. I imagine the cardinal will not awaken until after his trial, such as the arm of Planchet. <laughs> musketeers, France once again owes you a great debt of gratitude. And dear Constance, perhaps I owe you most of all. It was my duty, Your Highness. Bless you. Hello, George. My queen, you look lovely, as always. Mm. How ironic that France and England's greatest turmoil should come from those who are sworn to lead and protect its people. I am sorry for the part I have played in these events. All is forgiven, but Her Majesty must know that such things cannot happen again. We yeah. oui. And the diamonds, I presume you have them. D'Artagnan had them. Sacre bleu, that Gascon is ever elusive. <laughs> I did tell him, you know, we might have done well together. Uh, Escort the queen to the chamber. Our elusive Gascon will return sooner or later. You have Milady de Winter. Where are you keeping her? Who says I'm keeping her anywhere? She was with you before the rendezvous. For all you know, she was on my side the entire... I have rarely judged rightly, monsieur, in my whole life. But of Milady de Winter's loyalties, I am certain. Where is she? And do not say she has come to harm. The thing about that is... Huh? Bonjour, Monsieur Villiers. Milady de Winter. <laughs> Impeccable timing. Uh, uh, I, thought... I suppose my not work does need a little work. Au contraire, Monsieur, I've rarely faced such a challenge. You bind your captives very well. Not well enough, it would seem. Mm, Athos, I presume the Queen is no longer in danger. Well, not from me, anyway. No, not from you, nor from anyone I would see, it would see. But we still have a few loose ends to deal with.
looking everywhere for you. You will be happy to hear that my lady is safe. Oh, just you wait. The musketeers have told the queen everything, how you solved the riddle of the duke. Don't you see what this means? You will be knighted the, the fourth musketeer. I do not think that will happen. Oh, but this is what you've waited for for so long. You mean, after all that has happened, you still intend to tell the king? Even after the queen was put in such danger, how could you be so cruel? Constance, I want no more part of this. They're yours. I knew you cared about the queen. I do not return them for her sake, nor is it she who I care about. It would not be right for me to reveal the affair after all you've done to keep her majesty safe. It seems Monsieur d'Artagnan has learned something after all. It is not possible. It's possible. <laughs> Musketeers. Milady, it is good to see you well. Mm, merci. It seems that the Cardinal has at last had his plans put to rest. I am in your debt, monsieur. And I've begun to repay my debt to you. I'm glad we've had this moment to see each other one last time before we must say adieu. We can indeed, now that the diamonds are returned, we must. My carriage is ready and Parliament awaits my report. Au revoir, mes amis. And what will my lady do once her duties are fulfilled? Are they ever? Milady, when last we spoke, our future seemed so uncertain. Is it still? I do not know. Which is to say, yes, I suppose it is. Forgive me, my lady. Forgive me the fleur de lis. If you will forgive me. Oh. Oh, I told you, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm sorry, friend. Perhaps you will see Milady again. She seems she's left her handkerchief after all. Suppose it is better than nothing. Once upon a time, when Milady wished to meet with me, she'd leave her handkerchief on my front door. It's been a long time, but I have not forgotten. Milady, I will see you again. And what is this? Not thinking of following in Milady's footsteps, are we? I do not return to England, but yes, I, I fear we must also say adieu. What do you mean? Where are you going? I return to Gascony. I must be amongst men whose hearts remain untainted and pure. Uh, but, but the diamonds, you, ret you returned them. I returned them for you, Constance, not Her Majesty. But D'Artagnan... Ah, uh, D'Artagnan, you're just being stubborn. I'm the... I'm being stubborn. I think after, after defeating the Duke and, and rescuing the Queen of France, that I, of all people, have the right to be stubborn! It's too bad, really. We just heard report of a group of bandits attacking Marseille. No, 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 no. You will not lure me in with tales of glory. I can no longer be amongst those with twisted morals, needles and thread, and poetry! <laughs> no. Black is black. White is white. I cannot be with those who would convince me otherwise. Farewell, Constance. Athos, I relinquish my claim to be the fourth musketeer. Oh. <laughs> He's gone for good. He well, will return. Just starting to like him. <laughs> I declare I hate you, musketeers. <laughs> the prodigal son returns. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. You three make everything so difficult. It seems that D'Artagnan has returned from his long, soul-rending journey just in the nick of time. I believe Her Majesty wants a word with Monsieur Gaston. <laughs> I was informed this is where I would find my saviors. Monsieur D'Artagnan, you have the thanks of the crown for your part in overthrowing the cardinal. I did only my duty. The musketeers have laid before me a request that you join them, and I, ex I suppose you are most eager to accept their requests. Actually, no. You see, uh, I... he is most eager and highly qualified, uh, though he hates poetry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot refuse my most loyal subjects. Kneel, Monsieur D'Artagnan, if it pleases you. 
It does not please me. I hereby knight you the fourth musketeer of France and special guardian of the queen. Rise, Monsieur d'Artagnan. Tomorrow my husband returns, and all your praises shall be sung, and you will learn all he has missed while playing croquet. Why, Monsieur D'Artagnan, you are smiling. I'm not smiling. <laughs> you have done well, my friend. But one thing remains, and it is more precious than every honor your knighthood may bring. Constance, we've known each other only a short time. I, I would ask for your hand. Yes. What? what? Yes. <laughs> Oh, about time. Oh. Two in one day. Two in one day. No, two left. <sighs> Come, my friends. Cross swords with me. This is the happiest day of my life. <laughs> all for one and one for all. <laughs> Just wait until you meet His Majesty. He will be most eager to give you your first assignment. My first assignment is a musketeer. What, what will it be? It is a task that every musketeer must accomplish in order to prove his worth. I can't begin to think of what it may be. To play croquet in the royal garden. <laughs> Against His Majesty the King! Devil take it! <laughs> <laughs>